Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, please have a look at my Instagram, where I do Instagram polls to find out what you want to see on my channel. So you can vote for different requests, and actually this one was voted for on my Instagram. Second of all, do have a look at my website, bethroars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. I do lessons both in London, UK and online. And last but not least, do check out my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash bethroars, where you can find more exclusive content and guarantee that your request definitely happens. Now, as I say, loads of you voted for this on my Instagram, and actually it's been in the comments absolutely loads. So do keep on putting stuff in the comments as well because I do check that as well. Everyone keeps on telling me how fantastic they are, how fantastic the singer is. Let's have a listen. Stand He sounds angelic at the moment. Beautiful head voice. Lovely little riffs and mm. He's got this really consistent light tone the whole way and it's beautiful. I feel like more is going to happen so I've got a feeling I'm going to get some big rocky vibes soon but it's got this like kind of 70s dreaminess about it and I think it's beautiful. It's very light, it is chest voice and mix and then head voice. It's such a smooth transition between the registers. He isn't always 100% perfect pitch, I have to say, but I don't really mind. I think within this style I'd rather hear that and hear the purity of tone than 100% pitch. I think um, in modern music it's so required but often it happens through stuff like auto-tune and production and things like that, whereas this is definitely very live and it's very hard when you're live. We followed the dream mm, the one through the purple the tone easy clouds we could control our sense of time we thought we were alive So warm. Set in the cosmos is a single sonic sound that is vibrating constantly. See, this is what I'm saying about his great mix. He was singing there in like full head voice earlier in this sort of range, but now it's like just pressed into a little bit. So he could get that tone earlier in a light place and made it go slightly more towards head voice mix. There's so many different degrees of mix you can do, but he's just pressed into it a bit more, got a little bit more chest resonance and it sounds a bit fuller. And if we could grip mm. and hold on to the note. See, this is perfect pitch. It's only the first bit. Our minds were Can 
Again, a wonderful mix, slightly different placement of mix, which more towards head voice, and that top one was a full twangy head voice, but he's got real control over that. And that's often the area of voice where people struggle at, but he's like, no, I've worked this out all the way to the top of my voice so that I can get this punchy sound at any point in my range. So cool! Ah. And the glitter. I like the glitter. What makes it sound so kind of cool and um less trained I suppose is these slides off the end of the notes no no everything ends with a bit of a scoop off it kind of gives a feeling of like shouting because when you shout or you make these noises in life if you're like hey you wouldn't be like hey on the same note you'd be like hey and it would kind of fall off the end I mean it echoes language it echoes real emotions and that's good singing Where are we going now? Oh, this shirt is very tight. It's very small for him. And that man, the growl is nice. getting that punch by the consonants so cast is a really strong k t on tast and then the falling off the end of the notes again also sometimes going on to the consonants again on fallen i think was one of them it's really really consonant heavy rather than open vowel sounds forever he closed Around E. Really weird vowel modifications, but I like it. <laughs> that was so easy and unexpected. Great. It's great musicianship that he just kept it in his place. He kept his poker face on. You had no idea he was going to hit that top note. Obviously, he did. And he kind of prepped without you knowing because often it will kind of build into that big note. But it feels more impressive when it's sudden like that. I great musicianship. Oh, he's got good sleeves as well. And a hat. Swirls. I feel like I've just been objectifying these men. Like this normally is what happens to women, but uh, 
they're just wearing such like awesome clothes that I'm like, Ugh. It's in this really forward place, wah, wah, really kind of nasally and light and towards head voice, but he's getting that resonance, he's placing it forward, it's twangy. So the term we use is twangy, not nasally, because it's slightly different in terms, but it's a slightly different term, but probably for you at home, the idea of nasally and placed ah will really help you. I love the distortion again. And the big wobbly vibrato. Ha, <laughs> what a great end! I mean, that was just great fun. I love those surprising high notes that he put in. And everything was really well placed. I talked about it being a little bit off pitch at the start but later on it wasn't so it could have just been him getting into the song but in general the song was so well placed he pitched everything perfectly in terms of tone so it was awesome I really enjoyed it thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye down, down, down.